Last time we discussed the addressing of digital signals in our PLC fundamentals course. The digital signals may come from various sensors or they can be sent by the PLC to various on and off devices like an electric motor or a valve. In the log, signals may come from input sensors like pressure sensor, temperature sensor, vibration sensor or the analog signals may be sent by the PLC to control various devices, analog devices like variable frequency drive or a control valve are those devices that need analog signals to control. For example, we have a VFD, a variable frequency drive. They take the hertz from the PLC in the range of 0 to 50 hertz. So that will definitely need a 4 to 20 milliampere, for example, a 4 to 20 milliampere DC's analog signal from a PLC to operate. The 4 milliampere means 0 hertz and 20 milliampere means 50 hertz. Similarly, if we have a pressure sensor that is, be, that is being interfaced with the PLC and the range of the pressure sensor is from 20 pascal to 2000 pascal well to represent these values well the 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere dc signal is required so we have to address so we have to address the analog signals in our plc for example we have a plc input channel and 20 pascal to 2000 pascal pressure sensor is interfaced to the PLC input channel, we will address the analog channel something like this, IW40. Now, if we address the analog signal or the analog input channel like IW40, it means, well, I means input, W means word while 40 is the number. Well the word let me explain to you word as we have discussed in our PLC data types video. A word is comprised of 16 bits and each analog input channel value or each analog signal in our PLC by convention is represented by 16 bits. So if we have one word it means we represent one analog value or analog sensor value That, that is coming from maybe from a pressure sensor, a temperature sensor, or it may be going out from the PLC to any analog device. In other words, I can say one word is equal to 16 bits, or I can say one word is equal to two bytes. Suppose I interfaced two analog sensors to my PLC. One is a pressure sensor, Another is temperature sensor. So the address of analog input channel that is interfacing the pressure sensor, for example, is IW40. As we discussed, one word is equal to two bytes. So the address of the analog input channel to which a temperature sensor has been interfaced it will be iw42 it will not be iw41 because it cannot be iw41 one word has two bytes and the addressing of the plc is in bytes let me draw the diagram of that byte 0 byte 1 byte 2 3 so the addressing of the zeroth byte well it has the number of bits like it may be zero one but 
let me roughly draw the diagram I randomly assign values to these bytes and their respective bits. This is how each byte is drawn in our PLC. Well, this is the zeroth byte, the first, first, second, third because the addressing in the PLC start from zero you can say it's the first byte second third and fourth so when we address our digital input signals we do something like that i0.5 i0.5 in this case means it's input zeroth byte and the sixth bit one two three four five six so this is i0 suppose we address our output like this q i q 1.3 so this is the first byte so this is the byte 1 and 0 1 2 3 so this is q 1.3 and suppose we did our analog addressing like this i w 2 well that will mean these two bytes and all of its 16 bits and let me draw the addresses all the way to 40 so in this case we have byte number 40 byte 41 byte 42 byte 43 similarly it will also have the let me randomly assign the bit values. So in this case, IW40. Well, IW40 will mean these two bytes. Byte 40, byte 41, and all of its bits value. IW42 will byte 42, byte 43. So this is how we address the analog input signals. Similarly, we can also address the output, analog output signals. Except the fact that its symbol is Q and the rest of the addressing is the same QW44 QW44 means byte 44 byte 45 QW46 we cannot use Q45 because the 45 has already been reserved or used by this signal QW46 byte 46 byte 47. Suppose we have interfaced an analog wall or a frequency drive to our PLC output channel. Well, we will use this one. We will use the addressing like. To further clarify the addressing, let me talk about the byte 44, byte 45, byte 46, byte 47. And let me randomly assign values. So QW44, well, this means byte 44, byte 45. QW46 means byte 46, byte 47. We reserve these two word values for our input analog sensors. And we reserve these two for our output analog values. They will interface with, for example, a frequency drive and an analog valve. Well, this is just for the sake of understanding. I assign these values to input channels and output channels. Well, in PLC, it varies from case to case. However, it was just for the sake of understanding and for the sake of clarity. And let me rewind it. Well, we assigned the first byte to our input digital signals the byte 1 to output digital signals and IW4041, 4243, these bytes were assigned to analog input values. Well, the two bytes constitute a word and as we discussed, for handling of one analog, analog input channel, we use one word. The 16 bits are utilized for one analog input channel 
R1 analog output channel and each analog value is represented by 16 bits and also we discuss the input W40 input word 42 Q word 44 Q word 46 so this is how we analyze analog signal values B8 analog input or analog output in our PLC programming Hope you understood and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel and, and keep watching. See you in the next video.